and the previous lesson we added a business service to all our classes so in this very lesson we are going to add a rest controller remember that i mentioned that the rest con controller connects or talks to the business service the business service contains all the logic of this application and the rest controller contains the endpoint where requests uh, are made so if a user enters a request in the browser and sends it it comes to the controller so whatever further actions needs to be taken uh, like accessing data or posting to the database the business service is going to handle that so now we are going to add a rest controller so first i discuss what is a rest controller a rest controller is a java class remember everything are classes annotated with the at rest controller annotation uh, a rest controller contains the function that executes when a URL request is received, okay? So have it in mind, take some time to read up the, these definitions, try to see how it works out as you are reading it, you are applying it, and building this, uh, building up the application, and it becomes very clear. So uh, the code snippets are there. If you want, you can copy and paste. For now, I don't think it's necessary to copy and paste. Let's just follow along and do it. So inside each of the package, because if you look at your package explorer, you could see uh, a number of packages you are working with. So make sure that all your packages are inside the SRC main uh, Java, right? Good. So the first one we are going to add is to add the user controller. So simply go to the, the package, uh, the this package here, which is a user package, and right click and just add a class. If we add a class, we simply let's call it user controller. So it's all also good to be consistent in naming uh, in naming your your classes. So in this case, we have user as the name of the object, and now user controller is the name of the controller. User service is the name of the service. So at this point, we are going to add an annotation at at rest controller. The beautiful thing about um, Spring Boot is that it's a notation based uh, framework. So uh, there is always an annotation for everything you want to do. So we've added the user controller, and then the next thing is going to be the post controller. So we go to the post namespace, the post package, open it, and then let's add a new class, and that will be a new class. I'm gonna call it post post controller. Okay. Alright, so and then we add the annotation at rest controller. So the error displays and then I'm going to import rest contro controller from the old spring framework that's why you can find annotation. And finally we are going to add the location controller. So go to the location package, open it and new class, and then we add it, name it location controller. All right. So again, you add the annotation at this point. So why I'm doing everything uh, very in very easy way or slowly is so that you'll be able to follow along because this is a beginner to expert tutorial for Spring Boot. So, rest. I recommend you follow along, do this on your own. Not, don't just watch this video, be doing it as you go. Pause the video, do it, get back and continue. That is the way to learn uh, Spring Boot and that is how I designed my lessons. So now we've created all our controllers, all our services. So we are almost done with every, with creating all the classes we need. So for each package, you have three items, location, location controller, location service, and that is for location package. For this post package, we have three items. So if you come up to this point, I, we've created all the classes you need. So in the next lesson, we are going to now continue with, that should be write the get method. So we actually write a get method to retrieve list of items from the REST API. So I'd like to thank you for viewing. Remember to subscribe 
and we see in the next lesson.